Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Undertale with Dora the Explorer. Today, we're going to continue our adventure with, with Sans and Papyrus and all these crazy people I've been meeting. I don't even know what the hell. So this is the craziest adventure that Dora has ever been on. All right, now I want to get started by telling you guys that you can uh, engage with me on my on my comments on YouTube. I do reply to people. Also, if you want to visit my Twitter, go ahead and do that. It's laughing, L-A-P-H-I-N. My Facebook is black, backslash character voice. Engage with me, talk with me. I will reply to you just as long as I'm not getting 2,000, 3,000 replies a day. You know, I gotta be able to keep up with these things. Anyway, let's continue on. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs but Oh, well, what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Unfortunately. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Yeah, <laughs> come along. Over here, I know a shortcut. Oh. Oh. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone, hey, everyone, hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. At the same time. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Sansy Bell. Hey, Sans. Were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Ha, ha, ha. Here, get comfy. Of course, he far How does he fart? He has bones. He has farting bones. I'm surprised nobody's drawn pictures of Sans farting. Now, I'm sure that'll come now if the right person watches this. Whoops, watch where you sit down. There's a whoopee cushion there. Oh, that's right, it's the whoopee cushion. Because Sans can't fart. Unless he grows buns. So draw Sans with a whoopee cushion. Draw somebody animate it. Nobody's animated it yet, I don't think. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries? Burger? I want a burger, man. I'm hungry. I am hungry, Sans. I want you to get me a burger. I want you to buy everybody a burger. We're hungry. I want a drink to go with it. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of a burg. A burg. Burg. We'll have some burgs. So, what do you think? My brother, is he cool, uncool? Yeah. He's, uh, I'll be nice and say he's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh man. A burger. Yum yum. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. Tip the ketchup. Oh, jeez, the cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Ugh. Whoops. Eh, uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Scratches his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it, you know what I'm saying? Of course, she shut the door on him because he was... because it was midnight and he doesn't have any sense of time of day, but the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there, seeing his dedication, you know, she decided to give him a warrior training or something. It's uh, still in work in progress, uh, but, you know. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, I have. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Is that me talking? What about it? Or is that him talking? I don't know. Oh, what about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes 
When no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? I think he has flowers confused because I know which one it is. Mm, spooky. Thanks. Well, uh, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long, you know. You gotta get back to business. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Um, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. Isn't sand so nice? By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Whatever. Huh. Oh. Uh, his burger. Poor burger. I didn't even get to eat it. Gr Grilby said that your food is probably cold by now. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna leave. Wait, what does he say this time? No matter where I go, it's the same menu with the same people. <sighs> Help! I want to. I want new drinks and 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 of course, hot guys. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Everybody seems to say the same thing. I'm gonna go check up here. I'm gonna go check. Why is there a mustache on this rock? Ah, to be young again, the wolf. The world chill feel felt boundless. What is this? Something just popped up. Let's play monsters and humans. So that's a... Um, you're not going to make me human again. Wait, you aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? Um, this is weird. Okay, I'm going to just... Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah, the beautiful sound of knocking on the door. Isn't it just splendid? It makes me think of Christmas. Oh. What is the big woofie doing over here? Woofie! What are you doing? Come over here, Wolfie. Don't don't touch the ice. Just come over here and talk to me just for a second. Wolfie, I'm Dora the Explorer. You better not ignore me. Wolfie, I'm becoming very impatient. I'm Dora the Explorer, and you're over there throwing ice. You're not going to talk to me? Screw you, then. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I hate you. I don't ever want to see you again. I hope I never have to talk to you. Ooh, this is very strange. I'm leaving because it's creepy. I don't like creepy. You guys don't want to see me play scary games because I swear to God. We have to wait for a good scary game to come out because I think I've played all of them that are out right now. <laughs> but, you know, they change and Soma... Oh, it's Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Uh-oh. The inn. We just left from there. My burger is all nasty. Oh, where are you going? Sands. Calm down. Wow, okay. My house. Well, look at Sands' house. All nice. Sands, what is going on in that back room up there? You got, like, poltergeists in the back room. Guys, look at that. It's crazy, man. He has a rock on a plate. This, <laughs> this is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The, the rock is covered in sprinkles. Okay. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. 
Don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. He's not even in here. Oh. Okay, Sans, I'm gonna talk to you. Welcome to Scenic. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome to Scenic. His his house is named Scenic. Okay. Enjoy and take your time. I'm taking my time. It's a joke book. Okay. Take a look inside. Uh, okay. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> you touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Sweet. Uh-oh. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. San is this Sans' room? Oh, that's my room. If you, f if you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. <sighs> Go inside? Yes. Yes, I will go inside. Oh, Sans. Look at this room. This room makes me, I don't know why, but it makes me think of Maniac Mansion. Like, I don't know. Look at his bed. Sans, you got a car bed. Now we can get in it and drive to the bathroom. It's going to be amazing. You can get GPS on it so we can find the kitchen. Yes, you guys know that I've watched Grandma's Boy now. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a, of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Sans, you are like a child. Look at this. It's a little f ah, yes. Action figures, a great reference. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Well, Sans, you are just interesting, aren't you? So, um, if you've seen everything... Do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Ah, uh, sure. We'll begin the date, Sans. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wow, we, I feel so informed. That's, and there's an egg. Okay, crime. I think we're ready to step for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Okay. <laughs> really? Wow, we, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Mm. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Um, okay. Shh. No. 
You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. No. Your dating power. What the hell is going on? What the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Ah, he has his cool dude gear on. Nah, what do you think of my secret style? <laughs> um, I love it. I'm just gonna keep loving him. It's just all about the love, Sans. No, a genuine compliment. My dating power has risen. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what, the, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh. What's his secret? Is it underneath his hat? My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. It's for you. <laughs> Are you going to open it? Okay, Sans. Okay, Sans. I figure I, I guess I'll open it. Do you know what this is? It looks like spaghetti. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? Right. But oh, so wrong! This ain't any old plain old pasta. <laughs> Excuse me, this ain't any old plain old plate of pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finally aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively, you f f reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn the deeper... Into, I have only drawn deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? Uh, no. Wait, that's so wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, 
I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you being your cool. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh, uh. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, uh. Papyrus has set me in sort of into a a, a, a a sort of awkward state right now because he just left me in his house. Now I'm all alone with his stuff. <sighs> Papyrus, why do you have a box of bones? It's a box of bones. Of course. Papyrus, what do you have on your computer? Ooh, social media. Can I read it? No, I can't read it. Papyrus, you left me in here. I was trying to look at his hard drive. Look into the closet? Sure. Skeletons in the closet? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. There's no skeleton in the closet. I was waiting for that joke. The bookshelf is filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. Okay, Papyrus, you just... That was the worst date ever. Papyrus, that was literally the worst date I've ever been on. I was thinking that this was going to be something like Harvest Moon or something, but no, Papyrus has left me massively disappointed. What's going on in this room? The door's locked. It's That must be like Sans's room or something. I guess I'm leaving. I guess I'm leaving. There's... This sink is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. Whoa! It's crazy. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half... Man, I tell you, Papyrus, for, for a skeleton, man, you sure eat a lot of carbs. This is unhealthy, man. You're eating way too much sketty. But I guess you don't have to worry about anything. You can't get fat. But, ugh, Papyrus, Papyrus, what the hell was that all about? Are you serious? You, that was 20 minutes of my time, man. Um, okay. So I guess I'm gonna go through here again. That was... That was entertaining, to say the least. Ugh. We're back here again. I, I have no idea how long it's going to been. Should I stop? Should we stop here? Uh, I'll say we'll keep going. We'll keep going. If This might be a, lo a longer part, guys, but I hope you can keep up with me here. We're going to keep going here. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. You, whatever you choose. Why would you, though? You can't even use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. You want to use the box? Sure. Um... You know, what is the toy knife for? Let me look at this really quick, guys. Toy knife, weapon attack. I don't attack. I'm not going to attack. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my little knife off in here. There we go. And keep all my other cool stuff. Alright, so I'm not even going to attempt this. That's a little ridiculous. Oh. Oh. Alright, so, alright. Let me go up here and do this top one first, since it's... I love to do the harder challenge first. Okay, I'm trying to rememorize. Okay. Oh, psh, I could have went the other way. This is the flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. So somebody... The flower heard the last thing. Behind the rushing water... Ooh. Oh, okay, here we go. I got this. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, we got this. We got this. We're good to go, guys. We made it. We Ooh. This is uh, a little creepy here. Oh, the long grass. Uh-oh. Whoa. Papyrus, what are you doing? Hi, Undyne. 
I I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that a hu that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Uh, yes, uh, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. W what? Did I capture them? Oh, well, no. I, I tried very hard on time, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you you don't you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. Ah. Uh, uh, I understand. I'll, I'll help you any way I can. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Whew. Go away. <laughs> oh my god, that was Oh. Whoa, that was kinda creepy. That was Undyne? I thought Undyne was like Oh! Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was a female? That's what I was saying. I was like, wasn't Undyne a female? That's what I was about to say. That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on! Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Oh, crap! Uh, that hurt. All right, guys. This is it. This is the end of this part, guys. Thank you for watching. Please come back for part six. Remember, comment about the story. If you've never seen this before, yeah, engage with me on the YouTube. I will, I will reply. My Twitter is laughing, L-A-P-I-T. P H I N. You can find me there on my Facebook is black backslash character voice. I'm a voice actor. If you've ever heard of the Jam Cave or Tony Cry Night, we do animations together all the time. If you're an animator and you want to get with me, talk about a project you're working on, do that too, man. I'm open ears. And my voice, my website is voiceoverfun.com. I'll see you guys later on the next part. Like, thumbs up, subscribe. Bye bye. We will continue this mysterious story later. Goodbye, Dora. Dora the Explorer, goodbye. We'll see you next time.